It's always been a huge goal of mine to score a authentic luxury bag from a thrift store. So did I or did I not today? All right guys, so today, well actually yesterday, I just got back from the thrift store. I had to drop off a tons of things because I'm getting rid of a lot of items and it's always, always been a dream of mine to get, to find an authentic luxury bag at a thrift store. Now, you guys are like, what Tabby? If you follow the thrifting world, you guys know that that is very, very possible. I've seen quite a few people actually score authentic luxury bags at a thrift store, specifically Tiffany, I forgot her name right here. Uh, Tiffany, she actually, her YouTube channel, I forgot her name, what is her name? Tiffany, she scored a Chanel reissue and that was one. And then I've seen like other people score authentic luxury bags. So it's always been a dream of mine. I do thrift, but again, if you guys thrift, you guys know it's hit or miss. So I'm gonna show you what I got and also we will go through it together whether it is authentic or not authentic i kind of want this to be a huge like uh educational thing so we can learn together whether it's authentic or not i already know if it's authentic or not but um, we're going to go through it together so you can kind of get little educational purposes but if you want to skip to actually finding out whether it's authentic or not then i'll put a timestamp right here but i'm going to do a story time and then we're going to learn how to authenticate together. Alrighty guys, so I have this bag right here. I'm using natural lighting, so it's kind of hard to see, you know, uh, there you go. And then here are the details. I'm gonna let you look at it, see if you think it is authentic or not. Goyard St. Louis GM. And then inside, okay, so here's story time really, really quickly. So I actually walked into a thrift store that I commonly go to. I really like it because they donate to children homes and help their, their profits go to, to helping children. Anyways, I go there uh, quite a bit um, and some other thrift stores. I walked in and I always go straight for the purse section. Uh, and I saw this lady like staring like at a bag next to this bag. And then she was about to touch this and I was like, what the? I'm like, is that a Goyard tote? And so I run, well I didn't run, but I just walked quickly and I was kind of just like acting like I was looking at purses next to her. And I was like kind of like standing like behind her. And you know how like when someone stands behind you and they think they're gonna, you, they wanna pass you. So she kind of like moves off. <laughs> But I was wondering if she was gonna even look at the tote because it had all its plastic on the handles and then it had its tag on it as well. And it was only $5. And so I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it, it looks authentic, it looks authentic. So she leaves, I grab it really quickly and I tell my daughter, my 13 year old daughter, I'm like, oh my gosh, if this is authentic, I finally scored my authentic bag and she's like, well, how can you tell? I'm like, oh my gosh. So typically I can authenticate Chanel and Louis Vuitton pretty good by looking at the bags because I know those bags well enough. Maybe some other luxury houses I can quite possibly, but Goyard I've never seen in person, nor have I ever like know what to look for in a Goyard. I just seen YouTube videos and to be quite frank, on YouTube videos, they don't look that quality. Um, they look like little flimsy like beach bags that just, and truth be told, pretty much everyone gets wear on the, right here and on all of the leather glazing. So this one was had its uh, plastic all over it and then whatnot. So obviously it wasn't gonna have that so I couldn't look for any of like wear on that aspect. So to be frank, I didn't know anything what to look for. So I just grabbed the bag. My daughter went to go look around and I started like scrolling on my phone, watching YouTube videos, looking at authentication sites and there was one clue that told me whether it was authentic or not authentic. So basically I was like, I'm just gonna grab it and then I'll authenticate when I get home. So anyways, I grabbed it. Now let's get started on checking for the authentication together. It's gonna be quick because 
I don't know. Maybe you guys already know the answer. So what I use is a guide with a few, actual few. Specifically, I used a YouTube video and it was, who was it? It is called, and it was very, very concise and very good. It was called Luxury Promises on YouTube and it's how to authenticate Goyer bags featuring the St. Louis PMGM. A PM bag real or fake so basically the first thing that she talks about it was a very thorough video I'll link it down below is the outside of the bag it feels they print the print of the Goyard Goyard Dean print pretty well like about three times so on a fake it'll feel very smooth on a real one it'll feel very bumpy because they print it a few times so this one actually does feel bumpy so I couldn't eliminate there, it was definitely bumpy. And then the next thing is to look at the writing. And the writing right here, I'm gonna get closer. Here is the writing. It's on a fake one. The writing is unclear, you can't really see the Paris and the Goyard. And then also the bumps are kind of blurry. These are not. So still did not get to the conclusion whether it was real or fake. So pretty consistent as far as being authentic. The next thing they talked about was the uh, stitching. And the stitching on all Goyard bags are pretty much a different color except for on the black version. So the stitching is consistent. Um, the stitching looks fine actually. It's pretty consistent everywhere. Kind of in the inside, what's giving me alert is these little stitchings popping out right here. What gave me alert when I did authenticate myself were these stitchings. And then also right here, that doesn't seem consistent. So <laughs> you're kind of getting where I'm at right now. Now, um, then we'll go to the, so let's just get straight to the point basically. Um, the most important thing is the stamping. So that's the first thing I looked for in store and I pretty much came to my final answer, but um, that it is not authentic. <laughs> but I still got it. And it was only $5 and a little like disclaimer here, I do not support fake bags. I do not count uh, support counterfeit bags. I do not support replicas. So by no means am I supporting this. This was at a thrift store. It was $5. I just decided to make a command decision to buy it for $5. I would take it home, authenticate it on my own, and then if it wasn't authentic, I would either A, most likely, you guys help me decide what I should do, but I would either A, just bring it back to the thrift store and let someone else buy it, but in that case, then someone would wear like a fake bag, so I wasn't sure about that. Then second, I was thinking, well, probably most of you guys are probably thinking, burn it, <laughs> but, yeah, it sucks that it's not authentic, so yes, burned it's probably the best option, but it is a brand new bag, it is a tote bag, so what I was thinking about was completely, completely like just covering it in like patches or paint all over it, so pretty much you won't be able to see the Goyard stuff, it's all like handcrafted like art designs, you've seen people do that, I've seen people like say, um, I don't fake it or this is something like they say like stuff or they like draw all over it and in a way I kind of think that's tacky but this is like to be honest like on quick inspection far away you can't tell if it's fake or not which is I don't care about because I don't carry fakes but it's just a really good like tote beach bag so I was thinking about completely like painting over a cool design and then saying like my beach bag but I don't know how I feel ethically about that. If I give it back to the, to the thrift store, just like, you know, donating it back, someone's gonna buy it and wear it. And then second, burn it. Why would I burn like a completely brand new bag? I know it's copying someone, but maybe I can like completely cover the Goyard or do something. I don't know, but I think in retrospect, I don't really know what I'll do with it. I definitely would not carry it as is. So yeah, let's go into how I completely, completely figured out this was not authentic. And the biggest thing, guys, is like uh, stamp codes. This one, the newer model has a stamp code within right here. I'll put a picture, like it's inside there. The older models actually have it where this bag stamped it. And immediately when I opened it, I was like, dude, fake. Goyard or any luxury high house, it says the right thing. Goyard Paris made in France, it says the right thing. But dude, like really? 
why would you even do that that's complete maybe they're like oh nobody looks in there but yeah i mean so that was pretty much a red flag to me and also the stamp code right here is consistent on where it's supposed to be it actually looks you know decent and it says the right stuff on it too and then i started looking at it more in depth as i got home like you had to really inspect it and there's just like little things that i mean the inside is just a blank canvas just like the the authentic one but then there were like signs i was like okay quality supposedly here's really quality then i saw this too like right here it's like a little uneven as you can see and then also if it's real leather i feel like it would be a little bit more grainier it's kind of like a flat whatever so they're probably using pleather and another red flag for me oh the stitching i don't know if you caught that oh sorry the stitching, I don't know if you guys caught it, but it was like coming out right here. So I just feel like with Goyard's craftsmanship, I think that the, obviously I knew that the stitching would be better and all that. And also from like looking at the pictures, I do feel like the straps are a little bit thicker than the original, like the authentic one. So yeah. yeah. Guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did not complete my mission of finding a authentic luxury bag at a thrift store. However, I did find that this was a, you know, like a good thing because I was able to educate myself on how to authenticate a Goyard bag. Also, possibly maybe it helped you guys figure out how to authenticate. And like I said, this is probably going back to the thrift store or if you guys have any better ideas what to do with it let me know again i hope you enjoy this i don't even know if i said this in the beginning but i i do tend to do a lot of luxury videos lifestyle fashion and vlogs so if you guys like videos like that then please consider subscribing i hope you like this don't forget to thumbs up it really 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 helps me a lot and i shall see you in my next one. Oh, oh 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 don't go actually i'll let you go because i'm going to insert uh, mod shots of this fake bag <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna do that real quick also guys i was gonna say i have always been really interested in this bag the goyard toe because i think it's very understated it has a good like history it was actually created one year before louis vuitton and but it's one of those things that flies under the radar that like a lot of people don't really see all the time and so i've always considered it but then when i look at the reviews and the price tags i'm like okay everyone's bag kind of rips and falls apart so i might consider this brand and maybe a different bag but i'm not sure but i think that this kind of like helped me like decide whether i like the look and obviously i really do like the look but that was another pro that came out of this so again i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you in the next one bye